I see comet, Sujin Chang. Atlas, I see the comet. It's right above Venus, in between Venus and Arcturus. I see the comet. It has a huge tail. Woohoo! Hello and welcome to the program, Sula's Big Adventures, with me, Sula. This episode is about trying to see Comet Sujin Chan Atlas C2023A3. This comet was discovered on January 9, 2023, at the Purple Mountain Observatory in China. Sujin Chan is the Mandarin name of this observatory. The comet was found independently on February 22, 2023 at ATLAS, which stands for Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System in South Africa, and thus the long name, Sujin Chan Atlas. But the name is even longer, actually. Sujin Chan Atlas C2023A3. The C in the long name means that this comet comes to us from the Oort cloud and is non-periodic and that means that the orbit is not predictable and it may veer out into space after coming close to the sun or it may not reappear in our skies for thousands of years. And in the case of this comet, it won't be back for 80,000 years. So this comet is very special and worth looking for. But is it naked eye? When this comet was discovered, it was only magnitude 18 and over 1 billion kilometers from the sun. By January 2024, the comet had brightened to magnitude 13.6 and by April to magnitude 10. So it was very promising to become naked eye visible after reaching perihelion, which it did on September 27, 2024, and it survived perihelion. Perihelion means closest approach to the sun. Sometimes comets don't survive, but this one did. So I wasn't willing to get up at 5 a.m. on my birthday, but I got up the next morning to look for it. But it was only five degrees above the horizon, and unfortunately, we missed seeing it. I was very disappointed, but since it survived perihelion, I would have another chance when the comet reappeared in the evening sky in the northern hemisphere on October 12, 2024, just after sunset. I ran outside and I scanned the sky quickly with my binoculars and I was able to find it. But it quickly set right after Venus set and it wasn't naked eye, at least not to me, that evening. This comet will remain visible through about October 21st, 2024, but it's moving away from us and the moon will be full on October 17th, 2024, interfering with naked eye viewing. But on October 13th, 2024, I skipped washing the dishes after dinner and I ran outside with every camera I own and my binoculars and my six inch Maxutov Cassegrain telescope. Venus was still up and I scanned the sky starting at Arcturus and moving between toward Venus with my binoculars until I found it. And then as the sky darkened, it did indeed become naked eye visible, unlike the comet C2022E3Z2F, which was last year, but I only saw it with binoculars and a telescope. This one is not only naked eye, but it has an unbelievable tail, and it's well worth looking for. And you can see it through October 21st, 2024. So I'm going to try to see it. I had to work really hard to get this telescope set up and aligned and then find the comet with it. But I was able to do that and then see comets the Jin Chan Atlas with my little six inch Maxutov Cassegrain telescope. It was really pretty. So I'm glad I took the time to set this up and look at it, it was beautiful. Well, the comet set now. I hope I got some good shots of it, but even if I didn't, that was a memory of a lifetime because that comet was incredible. The coma was so bright and the tail was unbelievably long. 
and had two tails. Beautiful, beautiful comment. I hope you got to see it too. That's it for now. I'll see y'all soon. Until then, get outside and enjoy the night sky. Dark skies forever. Sula. Signing off.